Hello guys, so welcome back to another lecture of our course, Analog Circuits. And today is the day. Today we're gonna, you know, start with the circuit analysis. You know, forget now about physics and stuff. We just go with, uh, with circuits right now. So from this lecture on forward, when we deal with a diode, we'll deal with it uh, just as a device, like a resistor, like a capacitor, like an inductor, you know, uh, drive some models for it so that we can solve circuits and get currents and voltages in easy way. Okay, so uh, before we go into that, we're gonna summarize first now our, our overview of the characteristics between I and B, because basically when you deal uh, with an element in a circuit, you must know and understand very well, you know, the relation between its current and its voltage. And our, you know, uh, element now is our beam junction or the diode, okay? So here is the characteristics, okay? For two devices, one is made of silicon and the other made of, of germanium, okay? And uh, I, I wanna show you uh, two devices now, not just because we consider all the time on silicon to know what are the basic differences in, uh, in the characteristics between two different materials, okay? Because this is of course important. So basically the relations are the same. I mean, they are both exponential relation between I and V for both diodes, okay? Both go to breakdown in reverse. Both have I naught for I S and both go to forward and reverse, of course, okay? So let's start by the forward characteristics. For the forward characteristics, you see that one ob important observation here is that, you know, the diode start to conduct a much high current when it goes beyond the point seven. It's when it's VD, it's a drop, uh, drop uh, voltage drop, goes beyond, beyond uh, point seven, around point seven, okay? Which is VBI for silicon. But for germanium, it's point three. So this is around VBI in silicon diodes. This is VBI for germanium diodes. Okay. And as you see here, once you go beyond a certain uh, point, uh, it, it the, the, the characteristic become uh, very similar to a linear curve, actually. It's a curve, it's still curve because it's exponential relation, but it's a very steep curve just that you can see, that you can say, you know, if you just hide this part here, it's, it's a linear, although it's not, okay? And people experimentally to determine VBI, the built-in voltage, they just extend that very steep, uh, uh, curve, which is, looks like linear, uh, and the point of intersection between its extension, this dotted, dotted line and the horizontal axis V, is just, they consider this intersection as VBI. And same, of course, for germanium. Okay, this is for uh, the forward bias condition. Let's now go to the reverse bias condition. Let's have another color. So in the reverse bias, we can divide uh, the reverse operation into three regions. So this is the first region. Let's first talk about the germanium, then we apply this to the silicon because it's much more clear or uh, you know obvious in germanium than silicon. So from the vertical axis until you know this point here, we, we call this region one. Then from that uh, dotted line here until the breakdown, we call this region region two, okay? Then the breakdown itself is region three. This curve here is region three. So in region one, you see guys that the reverse is a reverse current 
is not equal to IS because basically in region one here, in that region, uh, the diode as a magnitude because it's because it's reversed should be negative is comparable to VT. If you go back guys to the uh, reverse saturation current uh, video, you notice that when VD becomes much larger than VT as a magnitude of course, then the exponent of the of the natural uh, number e become uh, very big in negative, and that will make exponential to the to the with exponent uh, minus big number almost zero. So i will be equal to minus i s. Okay. Then in region two here, when v t when VBI or V, I'm sorry, VD as a magnitude much larger than VT, this condition holds. I mean, the exponent become very large number in negative. So exponential very large number if negative is almost zero. So that part will be zero. So ID will be equal to IS multiplied by zero minus one equal to minus IS. And till this moment, we are using this relation, either in forward, and in forward DVD and the ID will be positive, or in negative. And as we see here, both ID and V are negatives. So in forward here, VD and the ID both are positive. In reverse here, VD and the ID both are negative. Just look at the axis. All these numbers are negative for V for VD, and all these numbers are negative for ID. Okay. Then in breakdown, this is V breakdown for germanium. This equation doesn't hold anymore. This equation here, as we explained before as well, uh, doesn't, the IV relation doesn't hold. Here. How are we gonna do? How are we gonna solve this in uh, our circuits in breakdown? Basically, you assume that the voltage across the is, is equal to minus ZBD. Then you try to uh, get the current based on the rest of the circuit, as we will see later in next videos. We're gonna take these observations and apply to this to uh, to to silicon now. So silicon also has a very small region, which is region one, maybe smaller, maybe from that. Let's draw with another color, green, for example. So maybe for silicon, the region one is you know smaller than germanium. Then region two is from here. To here, and this is minus I note, and this is I note for silicon. This is I note for germanium, and here is the breakdown voltage for silicon. It's much larger than so I note of germanium is much larger than I note of silicon. And the VBD of silicon is much larger than VBD of germanium. And by the way, this may be good or bad. I mean, if you are using your uh, diode as a switch, I mean, it becomes short for some time and uh, open for some other time. When you consider it open, you need to make its current very small, extremely small. And for that reason, use silicon uh, uh, device or silicon diode because germanium diode has a very large, uh, you know, uh, reverse current. In your application, if one microampere, which apparently here, it is approximately equal to the reverse saturation current of germanium is, is low, then you can use germanium, that's fine. It's based on the application. 
Ok. Now, what is the symbol for, uh, since we are using, we will use our uh, being junction or diode in a circuit, we need a symbol for it, like conductor, like capacitor, like, uh, uh, like resistor. And here is a symbol for our diode. Here is the B side, here is the N side. And the B side takes the shape of the arrow because if the current flows, it should flow in that way. So that will go, uh, this, the, the shape of, the, of this arrow or the, of this, this triangle will lead you or inform you that this should be the direction of the current. And just like any other uh, element, the current flows from the positive terminal to the negative terminal. So the direction of the voltage is in that way. So this is VD. So ID flows from B to N. VD direction is from N to B. Or uh, the negative side is N, the positive side should be B. In forward, as we said, let's summarize that ID, VD should be both positive. In reverse, ID, VD should be both negative. If you are working in reverse and ID is positive, then you have something wrong. And all the time, the direction of the current is in that way, from B to A, the direction of the voltage from N to B. And this is a symbol for the B injunction. For some historical reason, sometimes they call B side anode and they call the N side cathode. These are for, for historical, because before silicon or semiconductors diodes, like germanium or silicon, there were other elements that can be used as diodes as well. Okay, and these diodes, these, you know, historical diodes, uh, they, they have no B and N because there was, they, were, they were no uh, made of semiconductors with doping. And at that time they call uh, the positive side or the side from which the current flows into the other side anode and the other side cathode. Okay, guys, so this is just a summary for what we're gonna do uh, in you know, our next lectures in order to solve the circuits with a uh, diode in this circuit. Okay, guys, so this was an overview for the characteristics and the relation between I and V and also some highlight about, you know, the differences between uh, 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 different types of, of diodes, like for, for example, from germanium and silicon, the symbol of the diode. And now we are ready with such information in, to start solving circuits with, uh, you know, uh, with diodes. Okay, thank you very much and see you in the next video.